How's it going everybody and welcome to episode 3 of the Blacksmith Bench Knife Forged out of 8670. Let's get right to it. Let's start forging on that tank. First thing I'm going to do is get in here with my cross pane. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hit it along here and because uh, I'm str I'll strike like this, the material is going to move that way and this way because I want to widen the tang out a little bit uh, before I start doing some of these final rounds of forging. said that I'm going to forge kind of a, a taper from the spine side to the belly side of the tank. So you'll see that I'll preferentially be angling my hammer instead of striking flat straight down, I'll actually be angling it slightly this way when the spine is on this side and I'll be angling it this way when the spine is on this side. Spine side. side still nice and thick on the belly side the reason we want it still thick on the belly side because when we start upsetting it we need that material there so we can spread it out uh, and create that wide and upset look to the handle I do not like these sharp corners so I'm gonna go back in to the heat just for uh, just a second so I can kind of shove those in tap those in uh, I will probably will do a little bit of a dressing along the spine here uh, because it's a little wumpy and bumpy um, so I'll do that now pull it out and let the edge cool down a little bit before I start forging along the spine. That way it doesn't want to necessarily deform too radically. So, let's see. Still a little bit of a bump back here, so I'm gonna flip it around. And while it's still got some heat in it, it's not obviously crazy hot, but it's got some heat in it. I can address that little bump a little bit too. And this one right here again. And I see there's a couple spots right in the middle I don't really like, so I'm gonna. Gently tap on those, go back and address the edge. Up a little bit there at the end. I'm 
going to start uh, focusing force, light force, very small, very gentle hits um, along the, this width, the wide part of the tang on the belly side of the tang. This is a claw hammer that I modified because I did not have a ball peen. And so it's a very light hammer and that's what we want. Uh, because these light blows are going to help, it's going to hit it, but instead of driving it down, it's going to spread it out. Instead of, so instead of down into the rest of the tang, it's going to spread out across the surface. Unfortunately, because it's so narrow, you can't really do a lot of work, but you can already see how it's spreading out. So we want to create a nice lip all the way down the length of the tank. So I'm just going to keep working that. So basically, I'm going to keep tippy tapping on it until it's at least a quarter of an inch wide, uh, not a little wider. See it's starting to spread. Now something that will happen is this. It's starting to get a little wonky on us. You do not want to lay this whole thing uh, on the anvil because what you'll do is you'll start uh, driving this down. You don't want to do that. So you want to make sure that's hanging off the corner of your anvil and you can just do a very gentle, very light hit that will just help kind of straighten things back out again just along the spine. As you can see, my upset material is off the anvil, and the stuff that's on the anvil is not upset or spread. It's helping a little bit. So something else you can do is get a two by four, and you can just hit along that spine side, uh, it is helping to straighten things out. Long is you hit just the spine, the spine side, that will help straighten things back out. And the, the flared material stays protected because the wood is not gonna drive it and smash it back down. Like I said before, you wanna try to address issues sooner than later because they become too much of a problem, they're, they're very, very difficult to address later on. There we go, that looks a lot better now. So we'll just make sure this is straight, and then uh, we'll get it back in forge, so we can upset it, do a little bit of hitting from this side. Cool. All 
Alright, things look good. basically hold that tang nice and straight while you upset that belly side of the tang. So I'm gonna do that right here. Just grab it in there. And then start wrapping away. See the belly side of the tang is getting really nice and wide. Having it in the vise helps keep it really nice and straight. Okay, so you probably noticed that I'm using a couple of different ball paints. I'm using an actual ball paint. And I'm also using a, a modified claw hammer. The reason I'm using this is because this allows me to get down into kind of the Ricasso area, area where my index finger will come into contact. It's a lot tighter, it's a much tighter curve in there than the curve of the ball peen. I want a tighter, more controlled curve. And so, I have this modified for getting into that tighter area. You can already see it losing heat. Now, here's a look at the spine again. You can see how narrow the spine is. Uh, compared to the belly side. That's gonna create a lot of nice comfort. And to me, it's looking like it's at that nice quarter inch area, especially up in here, these first couple fingers. This, to me, is where it's the most important. Down here, it's not as important, but I do, like line-wise, I want it to be a nice taper down uh, to the tip of the tang. Uh, so I'm gonna keep working that just a little bit more to just kind of refine that gonna focus a little bit more force back back end of the tang. off of the edge, not on center, I'm hitting off the edge to kind of roll that edge a little bit uh, so it's not sharp and go, digging right into the hand. What I really like, this nice wide uh, belly side of the handle or the tang area, the nice narrow spine. So now the next step is to get up into this area to start forging and upsetting uh, the back side of the heel or the choil area. Okay, everybody, thank you so much for joining me in the third installment of the Blacksmith Bench Knife Forge at A670. Uh, if you got any questions, ask them below in the comments. Uh, and if you enjoyed this and got some good info out of it, please hit that like button. And as always, please subscribe.